Okay, if you are watching this, uh, most likely your DeWalt router has kicked the bucket uh, in some form or fashion. So this is a DeWalt 618 router, um, and I was using this router and everything was working fine. Uh, I turned it off, and then when I went to turn it back on to use it again just a few minutes later, it wouldn't power on. And I remembered when I turned it off that the toggle switch felt a little weird, um, and I couldn't quite put my finger on it. Um, but it just, it didn't feel the same. This is the old switch um, right here. And basically you have to understand all the toggle switch does is it's just, basically it is like your light switch in your house. It's just killing the power. This is the same wire basically. It's just one side it's going through and then this prevents it from going and passing. So even though uh, you may have the toggle switch off, just remember that actually inside of that it's still hot on one side. Anyway. Uh, make sure you unplug this and if you're not comfortable with electrical stuff don't mess with it anyway um, have somebody else do it but uh, this is a $12 fix so if you've got this router you know that it actually the ca the cord unplugs here from this side so um, basically just unplug that open this up this was a little bit of a chore to to open all of this stuff up and take that off um, but open all of that stuff up and then once you get access to it, this is the new one. I've gone ahead and I've already pushed in the pin that goes in for the plug. But just for, for reference here, this is, this is what it looks like. And it pushes into there. Okay. Now, it has, and it's a little, probably a little hard to see this, but it has a couple of little wings. And so if you can picture it in there, there's a couple little wings that open up as that pushes in. And that prevents that pin from being able to be pushed back out. So to get the old one out, just take a pair of needle nose or something like that, reach in there and pull and, and squeeze those pins together and then keep pressure on the on this wire and pull that back out as you're doing that. And you'll eventually get those pins pushed enough that it'll it'll go ahead and let it come on through. And then when you push the new one back in, it's just when you slide it in, it's gonna you're gonna hear it click and it'll click in place and you'll be good to go there. Then the other half of this circuit. Um, all it does is then is it just plugs onto here, which is, hold on just a second. There's a little push on connector right there. Here's the other thing too. If I would go ahead and I would take pictures of this. Okay. Um, I would, that's, that's generally, honestly, anything wiring your vehicle, anything, if you're thinking maybe you're going to forget like where something went, Pictures are worth a million words, not a thousand, a million. Um, so just remember that. And then this, now we've got that in place. Okay, that's hooked up there. Push pin is in there. Um, that's really all that is to this. We're going to push this guy back into place. Now this is, I've still got the plunge base on this, so it's a little moving around on me and stuff. But basically that's going to push down in there. And now your ground will connect up right in there. And you can put, there should have been, most likely, uh, if you're just like mine, a little smaller screw. And that's just going to go down through that ground, through this, and that'll help to hold that toggle switch in place. Then, all that's left, you're going to take your cover, put your cover back on. Um, this will probably be a pain in the butt to try to get that line back up exactly how it's supposed to be. But you don't need help with that. That's easy. Um, you, you've got this from here. Okay, so this is Jeremy from the future. Um, after I had already put this together, I wanted to point out one last thing that I noticed that I didn't talk about in this video when I first recorded it. This bearing here spins. It's got some movement there. I don't know how the inner workings of all this works, but I do know that this white wire has a clip that it, you push it down in in three different places here. Be sure and put that back in there because I have a feeling when everything comes on, it would probably tear that wire up. So be sure and do that. All right, back to the rest of the video. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments. This is a different kind of video. Um, we've got lots of other stuff out there. We do a lot of DIY and home improvement stuff. So be sure and hit the like button if this was helpful. And um, I just know for me, there was not anything on the internet that I could hardly find on YouTube about this. So uh, if this helps one person out there, um, I'm happy. So anyway, you guys have a great one. Uh, see you later.